A 2010, 10 million people around the world are waiting for a girl to come home. She is not a star, but the moment she stepped on land, the crowd that greeted her erupted into the sky with cheers. Her name is Jessica. At 16 years old, she sailed a small sailboat alone through three oceans in 210 days, crossing 44,448 kilometers, accomplished what all seafarers aspire to and all at, non-stop circumnavigation, become the youngest solo circumnavigator ever. Her story has inspired countless others to step out of the way, to set sail towards their dreams. Recently, someone finally brought her real experience to the screen. I believe watching it will definitely bring you the strength to ride the waves. At the age of six, Jessica had a dream of going around the world when she told her family about her dream and listed the detailed plan she made. Her family didn't think it was a child's fantasy. Instead, they believed she could do it. From that day forward, Jessica went to the docks every day to save money by painting boats for people. She learned all sorts of knot tying techniques to perfection, and she hooked up with a former sailing legend. He was so desperate to learn from him. Yeah, why, why do you want to do this? Because I'm an adventurer. Ten years have passed, what was once a little girl became a real explorer, at 16 years old, but her first voyage around the world was a disaster. While she was sleeping, her small sailboat crashed into a large freighter that had gone off course. The mast broke and the ship was damaged. She had to call for backup. She was towed back to the harbor in disarray. The shore was crowded with journalists looking on. They all thought it was a fool's errand for a one six-year-old girl to sail around the world by herself. At the reception, a reporter asked sharply, why didn't the sensor alarm? Why didn't the sensor alarm warn you before the collision? Jessica hesitated for a moment, but she told the truth. I forgot to send one. Now the questions got louder when her parents were asked whether they thought their daughter was capable of going on. She made a mistake. One I'm certain she won't make again. So you don't think 16 is too young? Who are we to deny her her dreams? Jessica was not discouraged. The official voyage was scheduled for two weeks later. That was the last window of the year, but now the boat needed major repairs, and the sponsors dropped their support for Jessica because of the failed test sail. Jessica's support had been withdrawn. The dream was about to go down the drain. It was time for the master to step in. He used his contacts to call in a group of good people, helped Jessica fix the pinky. The day was October the 18th, 2009. Jessica said goodbye to her family and master, officially embarked on the dream of sailing around the world. The pinky rode the wind and the waves from Sydney Harbour into the Pacific Ocean. From that day onwards, Master moved into Jessica's house with his computer. They checked the pinkest position around the clock. What they looked forward to most every day was Jessica's call to report her safety. How's it feel out there? Worth the wait. On the twelfth day, Jessica arrived near the island of Fiji, on the endless sea. Whales leap up their huge bodies. Dolphins accompany her like elves. Day 33, Jessica sets up her camera, scooping up a bucket of seawater and drenching it over her head. For on this day she crossed the equator, the rite of passage for a sailor. A few more days of calm and quiet, until she woke up that morning. Jessica saw that the sun was bright red as blood. She felt bad. 